fifth object, only one predicate, and it has only one finite verb in it, isn't it? So yeah. we, I think we have completed declarative, imperative, interrogative, and exclamatory sentences in the class. No, ma'am. We have Not over. Yeah, no, ma'am. We have already completed till imperative sentence. Only up to, to imperative. I know that you are familiar with the third third one. Okay, third kind of sentence that is. That is interrogative sentences. Okay, so let us have a discussion about the interrogative sentences. These interrogatives are also coming under the simple sentence, children. We can call it as a simple sentence because all imperatives are and all interrogatives and all exclamatory and all the declaratives are sentences with one subject, one predicate, and it is with only one finite verb in it. Okay, so interrogative sentences or the third kind of sentence is also coming under under the first type of sentence called simple you know interrogatives are used to ask questions if i want to get an answer from you i can frame a question a question is said to be an interrogative sentence in english grammar right we have two types of questions okay you are familiar with the yes or no question you're familiar with the wh question as you all know if i want to collect some information about someone or something i should have to use a question word in my sentence right if my sentence is an interrogative statement sentence or interrogative question i should have to begin my question with a wh question word all these wh question words are very familiar and it is clear for you children question words like uh, what uh, question words like where question words like why question words like who question words like how far how long how many how much right if i use these words in my sentence to begin a question definitely i'm expecting only some particular answer from you what is your name if i ask vinayak will be giving me an answer ma'am my name is vinayak if i ask the same question to atvika she won't say i am a vinayak right i'll be getting an answer my name is atvika ma'am don't you know about me okay don't you know my name okay she may be asking and where are you coming from if i ask a question where are you from or where you reside so definitely i'll get an answer acne will be saying acne where you reside in kodungallur kodungallur so where you reside adina desnayar puttanjara Putanjara, I got another name, right? So to collect some information, to gather uh, something about someone, I have to ask different questions. Uh, to get an answer, to get a particular answer, I should fix an appropriate question. So let me ask a question. Uh, if, if the question word is what? Okay, I want some particular answer. If the question word is why, then what am I expecting? Why are you coming late? A reason. I am waiting to get a reason from you, right, ma'am? I am late because I, I am, I not even uh, there on the bed. I, I am very lazy to attend grammar classes. As grammar is a boring subject, I couldn't even come on time, ma'am. Sorry, I won't repeat. No, right? I'll get a definition from, or I'll get a, re a reason for not attending the class from you, right? So why? If the question is how, if the question word is how, what am I expecting? A way of in me. which way or in what way it happened, right? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay, how it happened, right? I want the explanation about you or explanation about something had happened uh, when on the way. How 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 did how it happened? If I ask a question, how it happened? I, you will be giving me the details of uh, the things happened on the road. Okay, maybe the things happened in the class or at home, right? So I'll be getting a, uh, a correct answer. If I give a question, how much for your T-shirt? How much for your T-shirt? Uh -huh. What is the price for your T-shirt, right? Can you tell me the amount, the price that you paid for your T-shirt, right? So I'm asking a quantity or the count of something, right? I'm asking about a price of something. So when you want to ask something, don't use the word how many. You can put a question, how much? If the question is how many, how many brothers and sisters do you have, right? Yeah. Only one or two. Okay, how many, the count, count doubles, count double nouns, how many, okay, so how many, how much, how far, if the question is starting with how far, I am expecting an answer in kilometers and kilometers or a long distance, right, and if it is uh, how long, 
what is the duration of something right how long the operation uh, uh, takes or how, how long this is happening means i am just expecting the duration the time duration right so i can even use a appropriate question word in order to ask a question and i am waiting to get an answer an appropriate answer from you a particular answer from you right and there is a pattern or there is a structure for framing a question in english grammar the structure for framing a question is you should begin your question with the question word children you must begin your question with the question word plus followed by auxiliary verb you know be forms to forms have forms all these are auxiliary verbs right and model auxiliaries are also auxiliary verbs so you can begin your question with what auxiliary verb yes. are okay so question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject you plus subject plus main verb doing okay and you can use a question mark okay what are you doing auxiliary question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb this is the pattern of a question remember you can use only one punctuation mark here that is question mark a question must end with a question mark children clear so question interrogative sentences are in the form of a question we have two different question one is starting with the wh question in word the second one is starting with the yes or no so we we are expecting an answer from uh, you children in the form of yes or no so definitely i cannot use my question word here in order to get an answer yes or no i must begin my question with the auxiliary verb if you begin your question with an auxiliary verb it shows that that you are expecting an answer in the form of yes or no okay okay am i clear children and remember you should end your question with the question mark also so i am ready i am ready to give some answers you can ask me some questions don't touch my personal backgrounds you can ask okay. me 100 questions okay ma'am hmm Why you commanded you me many things in the last class you gave me a lot of statements in the last class and i i got shocked to hear the commands given by isha in the last class i was not expecting these kind of uh, imperatives from her so i got shocked still i am stunned okay not uh, not in out of mood okay now the, um, excuse me ma'am in yes last, isha in the last class you gave us a homework to write five imperative sentences and five yes. sentences i listen i listen okay no problem now let me finish this topic simple sentences today so i request everybody to give me everyone in this class should give one example okay give me one example in the form of a question okay ayman ayman is ready to ask me a question yes i am ready to listen also ayman Where your question i am scared i am too much scared to answer to your question okay ma'am where do you live where do you live north parur okay i am from a beautiful village area which is uh, called kotuvalli it's a beautiful uh, village area okay thank you for your question ayman now who is ready so you got one answer from me okay rudra ma'am how old are you i am 35 years old my children i am 35 years old okay i am happy i am a youth you can call me the new gen youth right no worries yes resin zohara Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, where is Dakshin Gangotri? It's not situated? clear. Ma'am, where is Dakshin Gangotri situated? Where? Where is Dakshin Gangotri situated? Someone please uh, share what she asked. Ma'am, where is Dakshin Gangotri? Gangotri, you're asking. Dakshin Gangotri. Yes. I think it is from actually flowing from Himalaya, Mount Himalaya. Please correct me if I'm not giving me the right answer. Ma'am, in social science, the science, all these questions, please don't ask me. Ma'am, it is in Antarctica. Uh, even from questions from mathematics, please don't ask me. Don't ask me the subject questions. I am not ready to answer to your questions, children. I don't know where is this Gangotri is flowing. What is the what is the comet is called? If you ask us questions, I am unable to answer. So give me some questions which are suitable. Yes, who is ready right now? Ma'am, 
I want question. I am stressing on the okay. concept intero yeah, interrogators. Yeah. I want some interrogators from you. I am ready to answer. So let me switch on safe yeah. side. Let me switch on to the yes or no questions. I don't want. I hate WH yeah. questions. Okay. Don't ask me any WH question. You can ask me yes or no questions. So I am how safe. You, how do you spend your days? Usually with my children. If it is a little short time, I have two kids at home. Usually with them. I do love to play. I I do love to read Kalikudka. I love to uh, read Balarama. I love to watch uh, uh, the animated movies. This is what we are doing. And a, a small, small, a little trifles. We worried about little trifles, right? What do you mean by the word trifles, children? Trifles, silly, silly things. Trifles are not as silly, silly things. Okay, no worries. No, no, no. Yes or no questions. W H questions. Sufficient questions. I have got okay. and I answered. You know how to set a W H question because you asked me Gangotri and all, and I gave some. I don't know whether I have given the right answer, but I gave an answer. I'm okay, you got one particular answer from me. Okay, fine. Now yes or no questions. Switch on to the yes or no questions. That is my safe side. Can I? Can I? Yes. Ma'am, do you like being a teacher? Of course, why not? I do enjoy that. That is why I am here. Yes, hundred percentage. Yes. Now another will, person. Will you exercise at morning? My God, in the morning I am riding my bike. That is the exercise. I am cooking in the kitchen. That is another exercise. And running after my kids to make them do everything. Okay, before I am uh, starting to school. This is one kind of exercise. My answer is no. Okay. Ma'am. Ma'am. Last question. Who is ready with the last question? Ma yes, Agni. Do you love listening to music? Do you love listening to music? I do love. I do love. Thank you. Yes, hundred percent. Yes, a big S. Yes. Okay, thank you, children. So these are the examples for interrogators. As you all know, interrogators are questions. Remember a statement without a question mark. A question is not at all a question. We have to put a question mark at the end of your question. If it is a statement, definitely you need to use a full stop, right? If it is a statement, if it is an imperative sentence, you can use two different punctuation mark. One is a full stop. The other one is an exclamation mark. But it is not an exclamation. Exclamatory sentence because always an imperative sentence is actually starting with a verb. The you, the second person pronoun you, is hidden and it is absent there, but still there is a hidden subject you is present. So if it is ending with the exclamation mark, also we can label it as an imperative. So remember, imperative we can use two different uh, punctuation mark. One is a full stop. The second one is an exclamation mark. Okay, and the third type of or third kind of sentence under the first type of sentence or so simple sentences, as you all know, this interrogative. Interrogatives are coming under the simple sentence, and that is the third kind of sentence. As uh, you know, this is a question. We can classify the question into two. We have W H question. We have yes or no question. W H questions are questions which is always starting with the question word, and there is a structure. I said the structure for setting a question is question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb ending with the question mark. We had a discussion. Now yes or no question. Since I said here, I am expecting not a particular answer. Here, here I am waiting to get a confirmation, right? So I want an answer in the form of yes or no. So I should begin in order to get an answer in the form of yes or no. I have to begin my question with an auxiliary verb. So there won't be. There is no need of using any question word in the beginning of an auxiliary verb if you are expecting an answer yes or no. Am I clear? And you know how to set a question. Also, mm -hmm. you asked a lot of questions, and I, I answered it also. Now the last one, the fourth simple type of sentences, exclamatory sentences. This is very easy to recognize because all the exclamatory sentences are always ending with an exclamation mark. Okay, we can use an exclamation mark at the end of your exclamatory sentence, right? Yes or no? Yes, yes ma'am. And there is yes, no the proper way. This is used for expressing the strong emotions, strong feelings, pain, sadness. That means uh, you can say it is. If I'm, it, it is sorrow. If I'm having a sorrow, or I'm not with a happy heart. I can use this exclamation mark to express my, my surprise, uh, to congratulate someone. Okay, to wish something. I can use these kind of 
exclamatory sentences. When you frame an exclamatory sentence, when you use an exclamation mark in a sentence, it is very clear if you have a use of interjection in your sentence, after the interjection, give an exclamation mark. Okay, what are the interjections commonly used in your exclamatory sentence? In Hello. order to express a strong Hello. feeling, emotions, and all children. Hello. Alas, you are very sad. Wow, 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 Ouch. Bravo. All these words, right? These are called interjections, meaning there is no particular meaning, but this is used to express some kind of feelings in a sentence, right? If these interjections are used in your exclamatory sentence, you can give the exclamation mark after this exclamatory word and begin your sentence with a capital letter and you can give a full stop at the end of your sentence. If there is no interjections in your exclamatory sentence, you can give uh, the exclamation mark at the end of your sentence like what a beautiful girl how beautiful she is how cold the night is right so these sentences these all sentences you can give the excl exclamation mark only at the end of your sentences so remember children all these sentences are examples for simple sentences okay simple sentence consists of one subject one predicate and one finite verb. Am I clear? Now I want yes. you to frame some exclamatory sentence, okay? Uh, exclamatory sentence. Everyone please ready. Rasin is already raising her hand. Yes, Rasin, I'm ready to hear from you. Exclamatory sentence. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, what an idea. Said G, right? What an idea, said G. That was a, uh, that was a, I can tell you caption of one uh, mobile company. Okay, no problem. What an idea. What an idea. So where is the exclamation mark? Razin? After what or after uh, at the end of your sentence? Ma'am, after idea. Only after idea? So your answer is wrong. No, ma'am. After, if you put if you put an exclamation after what or what an idea? Could you please repeat? I couldn't hear earlier. Rasin, unmute your device. Yes, ma'am. After what? After what? You said after what? Is it right? So what an idea. It's a wrong usage, right? There is no interjection. So we can use only exclamation mark at the end of your sentence. What an idea. Then exclamation mark. Another sentence. Yes, I Angelina should... Martin. Can I... Ma'am, wow, what a wonderful view. Uh, after wow and at the end of the sentence exclamation mark so both two places yes ma'am okay uh, what no wow. wow after wow exclamation mark then and then what a wonderful view wow what a wonderful idea okay two different exclamation and sen exclamation sentences view view oh okay 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 now ma'am can i yeah. yes manu yes manu I... omg that was unbelievable what is this omg Oh, oh my, my god. god. What is this OMG? Oh, oh my, my god. god. You have to say, oh, no, instead of OMG, you have to use the word, oh my god, right? Oh, Why are you awesome. just thinking about OMG and all? Yesterday, I told a few children to write a sentence, which is starting with the Y O U U. And as, as they, they are in the offline classes now, 8th standard, they wrote U, letter U for Y O U U. <laughs> We are texting the message with the help of you. So please uh, don't use these words because you may forget the spelling. Okay. So, oh my God. Oh my God, that was unbelievable. Oh my God, that was unbelievable. Okay, very good. Very good example. Now, Tanya. Ouch, that hurts. I think your mother is sitting next to you. She's pinching you also. No. Okay, okay. Next one. Shreya, ma'am, Shreya. Shreya, yes, Shreya. Bravo, you scored the most. Thank you, thank you. I know that I'll definitely, I know everything. That is why I am getting a, a good scores. Thank you, teacher, for your comments, right? Okay. So this is what is coming under the exclamatory sentences, right? So these exclamatory sentences are also coming under the simple sentence. Now, children, I need everybody to read the, the ex, ex, sorry homework I have told you to do. Okay, I said, write five sentences in declarative, five sentences in imperative, five sentences now in interrogative, 
we discussed here five sentences in exclamatory also just now we discussed here isha isha please read uh, two declarative sentences um okay teach me english grammar is it a uh, declarative sentence you said teach me english grammar is it a declarative yes. sentence i want you to frame yes, declaratives Teach me English grammar is not a declarative sentence. This is an example for an imperative sentence because you are starting with the verb teach. The actual sentence is you teach me English grammar, right? Yes. So this is an imperative. This is not a declarative. Another declarative yes. sentence, Isha. Mm. Please cancel the classes. That is also imperative. not a declarative sentence because you use a magical word called please in your sentence you are requesting someone right so imperative if it is a request if it is a command if it is a, an order if it is an advice please uh, think it is just an imperative sentence statements are only called a declarative i am your english grammar teacher okay my name is isha binoy okay i have long hair okay my teeth is white okay and i can say that uh, i am wearing a salwar okay i am wearing a salwar or i am in sari today okay and today is uh, thursday all these are examples for declarative sentences because these are statements i drink milk okay i love my teacher very well right i am going to visit my grandparents right another example all these statements which are starting with the capital letter ending with the full stop are coming under the category called the declarative sentence so again uh, isha i am going to give you another chance as you made a two three errors it is time to correct by yourself okay a declarative sentence is a yes. statement right Yes. The windows are dirty. The window are dirty. Ah, uh, Rohit. Yes, ma'am. Rohit, declarative example, quick. My dog is cute. Oh, very good, John Sabi. I'm going to declarative. papa is very strict uh, that time he is also um, it's a long uh, sentence i want short sentence my father is a strict person right i have a strict father not only for strict father uh but he I'm, loves you very much yes ma'am okay pavitra yes ma'am hmm. we must always tell the truth i didn't get you we must tell the truth we must tell the truth that is true okay we must tell the truth okay now i think i can ask a question to advika advika example for a declarative unmute my cat is black all the cats my cat is black you can say that my cat is black okay fine uh, angelina martin declarative tomorrow is a holiday no it is not tomorrow is a working day i mean yes yes and declarative declarative you should watch spider man no way home i watched two three uh, I'm versions i don't know which one part one and part the last two it's the latest one okay 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 so uh, then i want agne imperative example for imperative let let us start from imperative play a game play a game which game any game any game <laughs> richard imperative imperative earth is a blue planet imperative no <laughs> pass me the pepper ask so me the pass paper. me the pepper pepper i'll pass you the paper not pass me the pepper i'll pass you the paper you can write all the examples in the paper okay anandesh spy imperative i thought it just declare go fly oh, uh, no problem I, i i i know that i know that Anandesh, mama, I'm facing a power failure. So I cannot turn my video. Okay, no problem. But I want one example from you, Anandesh. 
go battle. fight the battle uh, uh, uh. go fight the battle go fight the battle fight the battle go fight the battle yes ma'am okay vinayak imperative vinayak i want one sentence in imperative not responding aiman imperative can you please pass the paper it's not audible it's not audible But can you please pass the paper it is not an imperative sentence i told already the sentence is actually starting with an auxiliary verb can right it is starting with an auxiliary you just ask the same sentence to me can you please pass the paper why not yes of course i'll be giving these answers right that means you are expecting an answer in the form of yes or no from me it is not an imperative this is just a question clear yes ma'am this is just a question so how can you frame an imperative like a request ah oh. can you play chess with me oh no, it's again you are starting with can imperative it also tells a command right what is it it uh, the imperative also tells a command right it can be a command also children mom i'm not getting i'm an i'm an imperative mom, example mom i'm not getting you're not getting gautam shut the win shut the window will you shut the window okay i think i can give another chance yes john sabi please never give me any exams not audible not audible please never give me any exams slow please never give me any exams one second please please, uh, please don't give me any exams i am planning to give you one test paper okay very good okay very good mm, now ambrose antony i want one sentence interrogative in interrogative not imperative let us start with interrogative example for interrogative can i Ambrose Anthony, yes, interrogative example. No, it's not audible. Already, I'm facing audio problem. Amu, Amu, Jay Mali, I can. Ma'am, he didn't speak anything. He was thinking. Ma'am. Oh yes, God. Amu. Do you have a dog? Uh, not clear. Ma'am, do you have a dog? Yes, I do have. I have one at home. Okay, now. Second one. Uh, who is ready, Sreya? Interrogator. Which is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is jackfruit. It's very small, right? Jackfruit. Okay. Now, Adina Desnayer. Did you finish your homework? Yes, I I did. It's over. Okay. Now I want exclamatory sentence. Who is ready with exclamatory sentence? Exclamatory. Yes, Tania. Uh, ouch! That hurts. Oh, ouch! That hurts. Very good. Ouch! That hurts. Yes, Rudra Krishna. Oops! I broke my I broke my mother's favorite vase. Oops! My I broke my mother's favorite vase. My mother's favorite vase. It, it it was not favorite clear, okay? vase. Favorite vase. Flower vase. From okay, leave it, leave it. Okay, you gave me the correct answer. I it seems uh, because there is an exclamation mark there. Okay, children. So these are examples for simple sentences. Okay, and uh, simple sentence. Uh, remember, simple sentence is a sentence which consists of one subject, one predicate, and in the predicate part, it should have only one finite verb. Now we need to talk about the second one. Okay, the second type of sentence that is. complex sentence okay the second type of sentences complex sentence before learning the complex sentence we should have a clear cut idea about the difference between a phrase and a clause without knowing the clause it is not possible for us to learn the concept called complex and compound sentences 
Okay, so let me explain. Let me start explaining the concept phrase here right now. And I'll give a more explanation in the next class. Okay, see children, phrase and close. There is only one difference. Phrase and close both are group of words. Okay, group of words. I'm talking about phrase right now. I'm separating phrase and I'm going to talk about phrase right now. Okay, if somebody asks you, what is a phrase? You should tell them phrase. It is a group of words. Okay. And it is incomplete in meaning. If you search for a meaning, you won't get any idea. A close, a phrase. Oh my God, I'm not getting any idea, right? A close is a, sorry, a phrase is a group of words, which is actually something is missing in it. It, it is not, it is incomplete in meaning. And if you search for a verb in it, you won't get it. There is no finite verb or you cannot find a finite verb in a phrase. Okay, so a phrase is a group of words without a verb. Okay, such a group of words incomplete in meaning without a verb is called a phrase. Suppose if the sentence, if I, I, I if I'm just uh, uh, giving you a sentence like in the kitchen. Okay, if the sentence is in the kitchen, is it a complete sentence? You know, in the kitchen is a group of words, right? And if you if you want to know the meaning, it is not properly. We don't know in the kitchen. What is the meaning of in the kitchen? There is something missing, right? It is incomplete in meaning. It is not complete in meaning. It is not conveying the correct idea to us, right? In the kitchen, it is not complete. It is incomplete. And if you search for a verb in that part of sentence or that group of words, you cannot even recognize any verb, any finite verb in that part. Okay. So what is a phrase, children? A phrase is a group of words incomplete in meaning without a verb so how to give a meaning for this group of words children that yes. should be fitted within a sentence if you give or if you place these group of words which is incomplete in meaning without a verb within a sentence then it will definitely get a meaning suppose if i am using in the kitchen in a sentence like my mother is cooking in the kitchen right now Okay, if I use or if I fit the word in the kitchen in this sentence, my mother is cooking in the kitchen, then it gets a meaning. It is a part of a long sentence, right? Yes or no? Such a group of words, incomplete in meaning, without a verb in it, is called a phrase. Am I clear? Yes, Am I clear? So keep this in your mind and we'll discuss about this phrase and close in the next class. Now, I have a few sentences for you. Let me let me uh, just check whether you got whatever I said right now. Okay, I have a sentence for you. You tell me what is the phrase over there. Okay, he was waiting for the rain to stop. Just write, just write this uh, sentence in a paper. He was waiting uh, for the rain to stop identify the phrase from the sentence remember yes, a phrase is a group of words incomplete in meaning and if you search for a verb in this group of words you won't be able to recognize or you won't be able to identify the verb in it such a group of words incomplete in meaning without a verb is called a phrase okay remember a phrase is a group of word incomplete in meaning without a finite verb and to get a complete or to get a complete meaning that should be fitted within a sentence also in a sentence he was waiting for the rain to stop what is the phrase here Okay, Agne, raise your hand first. So I'm giving you the chance. Ma'am, I raised my hand to, to ask you to repeat the sentence. Okay, he was waiting for the rain to stop. He was waiting for the rain. Yes, Rohit. Yes, Rohit. For the rain to stop. Excellent. Here in the sentence, the phrase is for the rain to stop. See, just remember for the rain to stop. Check it is a group of words like for the rain to stop. Five words, group of words, right? For the rain to stop, it is, uh, we are not getting any idea. It's not complete. The meaning is not complete in it, right? And if you search for a verb there, you won't get a verb from those words, right? 
what is to stop is to stop a verb then it no, is not a verb it is a two infinity form which is coming under the known finite verb right it is not a verb there so this group of words or these group of words in complete in meaning without a verb is called a phrase okay don't worry we'll start phrase right from the phrase in the next class i'll give you sufficient ex yeah. examples and i'll give you sufficient yeah. explanation regarding the phrase yeah. i just started the topic okay thank you so much for coming here children yeah. see you in the yeah. next yeah. class see you in the next class bye bye, bye. 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 bye.